no my no ma no my no ma no ma no my my Welcome back to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. I have to say, sitting there, I'm going to shoot, going for 32,000? 32,000. Okay, let's get started. Gabor A. Sporzhai of UC Berkeley was awarded with what medal in 2008? Was it A, the Fields Award, B, the Priestley, C, the Nobel Prize, or D, Iota Sigma Pi. You know, Matt, I remember reading about this in the Chemical and Engineering News Magazine article. Uh, Summer Jai pioneered and has done extensive work in the field of surface science and catalysis, and he's commonly called the father of surface science. I remember that uh, he also won the Priestley Award. Final answer. Final answer. D. Computer. The Priestley Award is correct. You have won $32,000. You realize you cannot leave here with less than that amount. Awesome. Okay. Are you ready for your next question? I am. $64,000. Albert Shu. Since the 1960s, Somer Shai studied surface properties of catalytic materials which eliminated the importance of what in mediating reactions? Is it A, crystal defects, B, gas catalytic properties, C, chaotic flow, or D, dynamic pressure? Summer Jai, see, uh, he found that the crystal surfaces can actually restructure itself due to the gas. As a result, the reaction on the surface can actually change based on the surface structure before the reaction. So that must mean that the answer is A, crystal defects. You sound like you know what you're talking about, Albert. Uh, indeed I do. I like you. I like your style. Thanks. Is that your final answer? It's my final answer. Computer is A, crystal defects. You are correct, yet again. Congratulations. So, Albert. Yes, Matt? Where do you go to college? If I... you go to college. I go to Case Western Reserve University. Oh, I hear that's a very, very highly esteemed college. It's I. Yeah. Okay. Are you ready for the next question? Indeed, I am. A hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars. Albert. Recently, Somer Jai and his colleagues developed methods to study reaction properties at bearing interfaces and inner surface materials. What was one method they used for this purpose? Was it A? Photothermal spectroscopy. B. The cone process. C. Scanning tunneling microscopy. Or D. Fourier transform spectroscopy. Let's see. Photothermal spectroscopy measures optical absorption and thermal properties, which has little to do with Somerjai surface science. And uh, Fourier transform spectroscopy. Well, that's a way to measure radiation from a sample. Again, nothing to do with Somerjai's surface science. So it's either C or B. I remember scanning, scanning tunneling microscopes can be used to view stuff at the atomic level, which he would use to view reactions on buried interfaces and high surface area materials. So the answer must be C. C. Yeah, I think so. How sure are you of C? Close enough. You're sure it's not B? It's oh, C. It's C. C. Final answer. Final answer. Computer. Is C, scanning tunneling microscopy, correct? Well, Albert, 
You just won $125,000. Yeah. I'm... Who wants to be a millionaire? Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with our shoe in... Who wants to be a millionaire? There's a new vanilla in town. Introducing Pepsi Vanilla, the perfect blend of cola and vanilla. That's awesome. That's not so vanilla. Welcome back to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? I'm sitting here with Albert Shu. About to go for two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. It's a lot of money. Yes, it is. You realize you have all three lifelines left. I don't need them. You seem very confident. Because I do am. realize the questions only get harder from here on out. Bring it. Okay. Does that mean you're ready for your next question? Yes, I am, Matt. Okay. The addition of which hydrogen to adsorb benzene is the rate determining step for the production of cyclohexene, excuse me, cyclohexane from cyclohexene and benzene. Is it A, the last hydrogen, B, the fourth hydrogen, C, the first hydrogen, or D, the second hydrogen? Oh man, man, you, you, I was I you, you threw a tough, toughie at me. Huh? This, this seems pretty tricky. I want to say it's the last hydrogen, but I don't think that's it. Have you read a paper on this? I've read a, a bunch of papers on this. You know, and uh, and that doesn't one, surprise me. You know, in a study of catalytic reactions of C6 hydrocarbons on platinum surfaces, Samarjai, again, and his group found evidence that I think it was the first hydrogen that was the rate determining step for the production of cyclohexane. You so do realize you have all three lifelines left. Yeah, I'm good. C, final answer. C, final answer. That's right. Computer, is C the first hydrogen? Albert, bad news. You're going to be playing for $500,000! That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Okay. On to the next question? On to the next question. Fly right through. That's right. Okay, here we go. Are you ready for the $500,000 question? Yes, I am, then. Okay. Somershai's group also invented a method called the sun frequency generation technique in order to observe what during high pressure? Is it A, adsorbed intermediates? B. Nanoparticle synthesis. C. Spontaneous hydrogenation. Or D. Oxide activity. Now, the sun frequency generation technique, also called the SFG technique, is great for studying high surface area catalysis. Samarjai and his group usually look at surface intermediates, and during high pressure, the intermediates may be easily adsorbed onto the surface, so the answer must be D. Adsorbed intermediates. Is that your final? That is my final. You realize you have not yet used one of your life funds. It's not necessary. Computer, is A adsorbed intermediates correct? Albert Shu. You are going to play for one million dollars. Yes. That's how we do it. Congratulations. How does it feel going to play for a million dollars? You know, man, it feels pretty darn good. Are you ready for the next question? I'm ready. Albert Shu for one million dollars. 
Soma Shai is currently studying the surface surface intermediates of unsaturated alcohol formation from what alpha and beta compounds? Is it A. Unsaturated aldehydes B. Unsaturated carbonyls C. Unsaturated haloalkanes or D. Gringard reactants Lifelines are looking pretty good right now, aren't they? They are, I, I gotta tell you. Well, let's see here. Well, let's see here. Unsaturated alcohol is important in, in industry as well as the uh, commercial business for obvious reasons. And people want a good catalyst that shows reaction cell selectivity for unsaturated alcohol. Now, Samrajai, he recently studied the hydrogenation of chromatin aldehyde over platinum surfaces using some frequency generation of vibrational spectroscopy. What is some vibrational spectroscopy? Well, some frequency spectroscopy is a surface-specific nonlinear technique capable of providing detailed molecular level orientation and conformational information of interfacial surfaces. It works by using two light waves of varying frequencies to produce one subfrequency light wave. The detailed molecular level orientation can be determined from the two frequencies of those two light waves. Now, vibrational spectroscopy allows identification of surface species generated upon molecular adsorption in the species generated by surface reactions. This spectroscopy measures the vibrational properties of the studied molecules and matches them up with known vibrational properties to determine the species. Well, anyways, back to what I was thinking about, uh, the hydrogenation of carotenaldehyde. Well, wait, carotenaldehyde? That's an aldehyde. So, the answer is probably A, alpha and beta unsaturated aldehydes. It's A, your final answer. For uh, one million, one million dollars. dollars. Yeah, it's my final. No lifelines. No. Computer, A, final answer. Would you like to cut to commercial break, perhaps? Just give me the answer. The answer is... Dang! You are correct! That was a close one.